<clears throat> hey everybody, how are you doing today? Hope you have had a great weekend. I sure did. It was kind of relaxed after the busy week last week. Hey, there I see Charlotta, number one. Hi, Elaine and Diane Glum. Hello, silly outlets. Hey, Karen, Laura, Leslie. I know you hear noises. You know what? I was looking for my thing that I made on uh, Craft Roulette. I can't find it. Hi, Joellen and Brenda. Two Brendas today. Hi. There's Ramona. She was there for Craft uh, Roulette. Hi, Lori, Teresita, Linda. Good to see you guys. Hi, Nicole. Suzanne, Darlene, Michelle, Glows Crafts. Good to see you guys. Oh, we had such a nice weekend. Starting off with the infamous craft roulette show. I don't know if, how many out there saw. Hi, Stargaze, Stargazer Joe, Ja, from Jamaica. Hello. Good to see you. Yeah, um, sorry I didn't change. I've been out running around trying to um, get a cleaner for the trailer, which is another whole thing. Anyway, hi, Sarah Clark. Um, hi, Sarita. So we have a lot to do today, but I'm not sure how much is going to actually get done. I want it to get done because I, I want to get these books done ahead of time um, before. Oh, Michelle, do you watch? Yeah, it was. It was kind of fun, but it was also kind of stressful being the one that everybody's watching. If they're watching, you had so much anxiety. <laughs> oh, I had anxiety too. Believe me, that was probably the ugliest card I ever made, but I got it done and it's over. And I want to do it this Friday and actually not have the pressure and then post like a killer card right away. Um, I don't know if I can do it, but I, anyway, I did it. It was done. Yes. Everybody was giving suggestions. Thank you very much. I knew, I knew that you were there. That was your first one too, Stargazer. Yeah, that was, um, there's a lot going on there. The thing that really surprised me was that you only have two minutes to gather your supplies, which is not long at all. I mean, that's how long it took me to find the book. And then I had nothing in my head for the, um, the card itself. So I just like started making something and I don't know, I, I should have had a better plan. I don't know how you can though, because you really don't know what you're working with. So it's, uh, it was a lot, but I had fun definitely. And good, a good time being in the chat and seeing people when I could, when I wasn't sweating <laughs> and telling ridiculous stories. Uh, hey, Jen Purple. So anyway, hi, Angie. Oh, hi. Welcome. Good to see you. A oh, Angel. Sorry. My contacts. That's just the wrong distance to see anything. Hi, Lynn and Lori. Judy Cantrell. Good to see you. Hope your mom's doing okay. Um, I forgot to silence my computer and it will be dinging. So anyway, we did that. It was done. That was pretty good. Hi, Lisa from New Mexico. Good to see you. Sorry, I can't. Oh, Dr. Lisa. Okay, good. We have a doctor. I almost had a heart attack, Lisa. So it's good. <laughs> it's good you're here. I don't think I will have one tonight, but you never know. <laughs> so I don't have the pressure on me. But um, it, it was fun. I mean, it's a cool idea. The whole premise of the craft roulette, you know, that everyone is working within these guidelines um, and, you know, everyone. And then like today, the post came out with all of these two over 250 cards and not one is the same. So it just is a cool idea. And Mary does an amazing job keeping all those details straight. Um, it also <laughs> seems like torture. Well, it was for me, but everybody else is just sitting home having their wine and you know oh oh no judy okay all right we'll be thinking about her be thinking about your mom okay 
Um, yes. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it was fun. So what I want to do today is I, I just wanted to tell you that you know, we worked with napkins the other day. I kind of want to continue that because I realized we never actually embossed it because we were waiting for it to dry. So uh, I'm going to emboss my piece that I did that is now dry. And you can see what it looks like. And then we can go ahead and, uh, and you know, put our luster wax on if we want or whatever after that. Okay. Hey, Mitsuyana. Uh, and it feels like. And we put the camera down. I'll show you the napkins. They're really pretty. They're all florals. There's 16 of them. So they are up in the Etsy shop. If you want any to work with, we have some other ones too, but these are the most recent. And I don't think I've ever repeated any because I only usually buy one package. So it's usually I do it, I put it up there and it's done unless there are extra ones in the shop. Okay. So uh, also I did a little watercolor. I'm not sure about it. I think I would have placed things differently, but it was kind of, I hadn't done a piece that was like a lot of things on one piece of paper. Like I do like one flower and then I'm done. So this was my first one and you know, it could be better, but it's also, it was kind of fun to do it. And, um, I'm still not that good, but I just like the colors and I could see, putting this, uh, cutting it up and maybe making like bookmarks, you know, skinny bookmarks. Um, they could be tulips, Leslie. Not sure what they are. They're just little blobs of, of color. I'm not putting it too close because you'll see it's really nothing. They're just blobs of color that have like a little, you know, thing at the base and that makes it look like tulips kind of. And I'm I'm an abstract watercolor artist. Okay. I don't know. It just makes me happy. So I'm going to keep doing it. I have to get better, I figure. Okay. Now, the other thing we did this weekend was, I don't know why, but my husband, I think he was mowing in the back and he pulled the trailer out. And I had been getting some questions from some people. Hey, Candice, how are you? So good to see you. Everybody say hi to Candace. She's been under the weather for a little bit, but I'm happy to see that you're here. Good job. Hi, Debbie. Maybe it's poppies, Debbie. I don't know. Could be. It's whatever you want them to be. Um, anyway, the trailer was out and I thought, oh, what a mess. So I started picking at it and it's peeling. Like the front and the back of it are just peeling. The the paint is peeling off. The sides are fine. So I think I'm going to clean it. And Brenda had, I, I posted a picture, some pictures of it. It looked horrible. And a lot of people were giving their opinion, which I appreciated uh, because I, when I saw it, I was like, that's the end of that. But now after looking at it, I'm kind of thinking I might do one last hurrah with Scotty, the trailer. Um, this is a 1976 vintage trailer that I got on eBay uh, in 2013, and I took it on the road for about six years, and then COVID happened. My dad got sick on my last trip, and I just didn't quite make it out after that because we were trying to settle as a state and do all that stuff. So I haven't had it out in a while, but... Oh, good. I'm glad you're starting your new life, Candace. We're happy that you're here with us. Yes, you can get an automated paint sprayer. Yes, I have done that, Glum. And actually, it's not that much to paint. I don't even know if I have to do the side of Scotty's Farewells tour because it could be a couple of years. Here's the thing that I'm thinking. My husband is going to retire in a couple of years and we're going to get like a, a regular trailer that we are not trailer, probably an RV. And we will drive around in that and see the places in the country together. So if I can just make this last for a couple of years, then when we go to get that other one, then it, I can either sell it or, or maybe even keep it. I don't know. We'll see. But I think the grandkids really would like um, being 
you know, playing in it. And we have three little three-year-olds right now, well, a four and a two three-year-olds. And I think they would have fun playing in there. And so, uh, yes, I think that we are going to attempt. I'm going to have my son-in-law look it over. He owns his own shop. It will kill him because he works on BMWs and Mercedes. And uh, he thinks it's a piece of, you know what, <laughs> which it probably is, but so many happy memories. But I know that he wouldn't let me go without it being safe. So um, I think that we will, you know, try and give it new life. So I did go just now. I went over to Dollar Tree and I got the totally awesome cleanser. So I have that ready to go. And I think maybe tomorrow, if the weather is good, I'll go outside and kind of scrub them down and see what I can do. And then, um, you know, give them a couple coats of paint. And and the inside is really, I need to unload the whole stuff inside. It's getting kind of, you know, it's been, in, it's, it's just old. But I'll try and fix it up as well as I can and hope that, um, I know I do have an RV expert. Maggie Harding. Tell him to pimp your trailer. <laughs> he would rather die. <laughs> Poor Galen. He doesn't even want to look at it. <laughs> but he's good. And my other son-in-law, uh, Jason, he did some work in there. He put in, he converted it from the, uh, you know, actual functioning one to uh, like a studio type thing. The other thing that I'm thinking, the roof may need a little bit of help. I did see some leaking, but only in one corner. So I do have a place that I brought it to last time. And I probably will say, just do the roof again, because they did a great job. Um, the other thing that I was thinking about was, uh, oh, I, <laughs> I would like an actual toilet in there. What I have been using, what I was using was a five gallon paint bucket from Lowe's or Walmart. And then there is an actual toilet seat that fits on it. And then you put kitty litter. Well, you put a garbage can liner in there, kitty litter. And then, you know, whatever happens in the night, you just, um, get rid of it in the morning. And so that's what I've been using, but it's a little bit rocky. And sometimes, you know, when you wake up in the middle of the night, it's a little, little sketchy. So anyway, I, I'm thinking I will put a <laughs> chemical toilet in there. So I have some ideas for how to do this. And um, anyway, I appreciate you walking along with me and watching the, yes, that was our storage closet, but Mitziana, Sometimes other things are more important. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens. It is handy because that's where I stored my little rolly cart. And that was very handy. So I think that maybe I could still fit it in there um, at night, you know, and then just take it out. And then we'll see. Hey, Sandy. Okay. Oh, you're unable to post comments on TV. Okay. Well, all right. Anyway, that is uh, my thought on the trailer. So if I go, you're going to hear about it, guys. And I hope you'll follow along because we had such a good time. I used to go for two months at a time, which I realize is too long. I, I don't want to do two months anymore. The thing is, if you want to get out to California, it takes like a good week to drive out there. And then, you know, by the time you stop and teach on the way and teach on the way back, it's it's probably at least a month or more to get back. So, you know, I, I may just go in closer range because uh, if I need to get back for mom or whatever, then I can still do that. So anyway, yes, we'll see. The cart does fit in the van. Yes. Yeah, so I'll be pulling it with my van, which is another thing because I had a truck before. So I'm hoping that my new car has the power. It should. I have a tow package, but I don't know. So anyway, a lot of iffy things that I have to try, but we'll see. And I, yeah, I don't camp in it every night. I do every other night. So I go to a hotel one night, get a shower, and then hopefully go teach. And then the next day I'm driving. So I don't need a hotel every night. So um forgot California comes to go, <laughs> go to Gulf Coast, spare room. Okay, I, I have done that too, so we'll see. So anyway, I'm glad you guys are on board, and I know some of you thought that I should just 
get put Scotty out to pasture. And I did think about it, but I still think there's some life in him. So I'm going to go for it. And if not, he'll let me know for sure. Yes, they are heavy, Billy. That one is heavy. I have, uh, I think I can tow 500 or 5,000 pounds, which includes stuff that I put in the back of the van. So total 5,000 and it weighs, I think, 2,100. So I can't be bringing a whole ton of stuff. But if I'm going for less time, I should be okay. So I, I've been thinking all the angles and hopefully it's going to work. So we'll see. I'll keep you uh, up to date. I was going to go out there today and kind of broadcast from there. But I may do that another day. But I couldn't figure out how to come in and do all the transitions and still do a project. So I am going to do that. Um, so that was the other thing. Also. I am working on a digital kit for the, the little book that we're working in, the card case. And I'll show you. It's not quite ready yet to be posted, but I will show you what it looks like in a little bit. Okay? All right. I think that would be well, – I think that's it. Oh, also, the other thing is, some of you guys were asking about faux leather, and it happened that, I don't know if this is faux leather, but I found this mat at a, a thrift store. It was like $3.99, but it's actually pretty big, and I'm thinking that we should try it just to see. I mean, it's, you know, it's got a lot of stuff to it, and it's like a darker and a lighter pink so it's got a color on each side so I'm thinking if we have time I'll cut one up actually oh I thought it said oh it says nodal I don't know what that is maybe some kind of yoga mat or I, I don't know what it is it had this cool little gadget which could be maybe a fun latch it's not really long enough but maybe with a I don't know we'll see we'll cut it up anyone else having a problem with chat uh-oh Looks like your desktop mat? Really? Well, maybe that's what it is, Angie. Oh, now I don't want to chop it up. That would make a nice mat. You know what? Let me leave it here and see what you guys think. All right. Let me use it on my mouse here. Well, full-size journal. That's what I was thinking, Allison. All right. Let me put this little thing in here while I'm changing my camera angle here and
Okay, hang on. Ah, I turned off my mic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Good Lord, I needed to look up. Ah, never fails. Okay, did you get it? Yes. You hear me now? Yeah, I took it out of the stream and I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, sorry. Blurry, really? Video is extremely blurry. Hmm. Can you see it now? Maybe it's not focusing. Can everybody see? Okay. I was putting it up to show. How is it now? Can you see? So I was showing the difference. <laughs> Sorry. And I was saying that this one we embossed with this thinlet die. And this we embossed with a, a bit out of focus. Ugh. What is that black fabric? Debbie, this is leather. It's all digitized and you can't see any details. Oh, this is so annoying. Um, I'm not sure how to... Looks like the other day when I had internet issues. Arrgh! All right. I, you know what? Let me, let me go out of here with this. Let me, let me hang on one second. Okay, guys, I'm going to go out and come back in. Okay, let's see. Maybe this will be better. All right, how is this, guys? Is this any better? Let me get in the comments because I hope you can hear me. It was okay until I turned the camera down. I went out back and you hear me. All right, can you hear me now? You love the citrus napkin. Yes, much better. Oh, good. All right, now I know how to fix that. Hallelujah. Okay, I don't know if you could see this. This is embossing with a, a folder. <laughs> Once again, this is with a thinlet. Okay, we already did that. And I'm going to make these for my son-in-laws, if you heard me say that, and my husband. Okay, the next thing that we did was we embossed a piece of leather. Well, first we did napkin decoupage on it. This is a napkin. Oh, good. Nice, not mice. <laughs> good. All right. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's with this. This is supposed to be an autofocus camera. Anyway, um, so what we did last time, I had already had this embossed. I didn't put the luster wax on because uh, I was waiting for the other one to dry. All right, so that's the one we did, and that was halfway done. And then we did this one, but it was still wet, and so I couldn't emboss it and show you how. This one is already done, so I thought, I'm going to do this today. Clearer on YouTube. Okay, good to know. Okay, thank you for telling me. I wish that I had seen it sooner, but what are you going to do? Okay, so I thought that what I'm going to do is uh, my plan was to emboss it again so you could see and then add our luster wax so you can see it all in one step. Now you will notice that we still have these little fuzzy things and I thought I want to do that in front of you guys because I think that's going to be fun to trim. I'm not going to use my blade. I'm going to use my scissors because this is just napkin that's kind of sticking out from the side. So I'm just going to go along and trim right close. And I'm just loving all these new options that we can do with leather. Like it wasn't good enough before. Now I did get a little bit of glue here. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fix that. Um, I could cover it with some something. I don't know what. But I might just leave it and maybe put a pocket on top of it. I'm not sure. I'm not that worried because this is going to be like a vintage journal anyway, I decided. 
so we have our covers trimmed. Aren't they pretty though? So this was a white leather. I don't know if I have, yeah. Here's a piece of what it looked like before I, <laughs> no blade, do I have a fever? I do have my brand new blade, but I was saving it. <laughs> so this is the leather. It's got like a gray on the inside. You never know what it's going to have, but it is pretty. And it, if you look, you can see it does have a pebbled texture, which usually means that it's not going to emboss because it's already, already been treated. Brenda, yes, I separated the napkin and I only use one ply. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. That That's this. That's the one I used for this one. And yeah, I love that. I want to make another one. Because these citrus colors, that paint, I just love that melon color. And then when I looked on here, it's like, oh, why did I chop that off? And, you know, the leaf is messed up and that one's messed up and that one. But, I mean, if you just looked at it, you wouldn't notice. But, yes. How did you fuse the napkin to the leather? Um, I'm going to actually, uh, we did that in the last video, Debbie. If you look on last Thursday's episode, that's where we did this one. So I had to let it dry because I didn't want to ruin my embossing folder. It was sticky. So, yeah, we're going to emboss that right now. But basically, you're just you would just take your decoupage matte glue sealer finish and paint it on your leather put your napkin on paint over it again to seal it and then let it dry and then what we did was we embossed it with a 3d embossing folder this one was called tablecloth and then we added luster wax which is so so cool and i think it makes it look like a um like an old plate kind of. And I did kind of think today, I did bring this stuff to do this and I, I think I will do it. Um, I decided I wanted to add this in maybe a little bit more, fill in a little bit more of the gold. So I wanted to see if it had actually relaxed, but I don't think it did. So I think that it is gonna work on here, but we're gonna see, okay? So we're gonna do that right now. All right. I'm excited. This was fun. So dramatic. Now, I did not spritz it with water. I usually do because I that helps the fibers when you're doing paper. That's what you would do because it helps the fibers to kind of adjust. But leather is already pretty pliable, so I'm not going to add I'm not going to spritz it with water. The only other thing that I was worried about was that it might kind of take off some of this napkin, and I don't want it to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to put it right in the folder. I'm using the crochet mandala folder. Hi, Roberta. Yes, luster wax is beautiful. And I'm just now, yeah, I don't think it matters if I line it up or anything. I'm just going to put that in there. And we're going to roll it through. All right. I just have my one um, platform in here. I, I don't have anything else. And when we're, you're doing a 3D folder, you only need one cutting pad on top. Now, let's see. Uh, it could be a little tight. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait a minute. This is, this is feeling, you know what? One thing that I like to do is turn it a little sideways because that will help it slip in there like just a little at a time yeah this is better all right this is pretty pretty good workout here guys but wait until you see hopefully it worked oh yeah oh look at that ah that is just beautiful oh i'm so glad it worked <laughs> oh thank you glum Yes, it could do that too, Leslie. It could make the Mod Podge sticky again. So yeah, we don't want that. So let's do the other one. I think it's really pretty. Okay, so we're going to... I'm not sure which one I like as the front. Probably that one. But I'm just going to do the same thing again. Just put it in my folder. And... I'm going to turn it slightly. See, we don't have a lot of room here, but you have enough so that when when you put this whole 
thing straight on, that's a lot for the machine to grab. So if you can kind of gradually do it, it's it's easier and it saves you some uh, muscle strain. And the other th thing is make sure you get this in straight because if it moves, it's a little, um, that's another thing that's going to make it hard to roll through. Okay. Thank you. This is a great idea. What are they saying? You're making my arm. <laughs> well, if you have an electric machine, you don't have to worry. Oh, but look at that, guys. Oh, my Lord. That is just beautiful. Oh, yes. Okay. So I think what I might want to do is get my luster wax on there first, and then I will put this together, okay? And then I have some ideas for what we might want to put inside this fun little book. I'm using the card case die, and I forgot to get it out because I was up at Home Depot until 3 or 5 o'clock because I was getting a um a thing <laughs> Susie is going to come over tomorrow we're going to film some shorts some short videos because that's what everybody says we need to do so we're doing it <laughs> so I had to get PVC pipe to make a stand so we can do it up in the kitchen so I'll let you know how that goes could be interesting all right so thank you glum for putting those links you do just for that reason. Uh, I don't know. All right. I'm going to do this smaller one because I think I do want to go in and I don't know though. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll do it on this one because I really like that one. It's just, I, you know, it's easy to go crazy and I don't want to go crazy, but, um, hmm. all right. I'm going to do this, this, and I was going to use a different color, but I really like the gold. So I'm loading this up pretty well. And if you don't want to get your hands or nails dirty, I would advise wear gloves. Okay. So I'm going to just go around this. This is just going to make everything pop. That design. Look at that. Oh, my Lord, I could do this all day. Now, this, I am a little more heavy-handed. I didn't think I had so much on here, but I did. Because I liked how I kind of shaded it on the other one. But this will be different. We'll just see. You could even go over it, really. I don't think I want to do that. Now, I might need to get this little one to get in here. So let me do that one, too. I can use this again. Yes, um, <laughs> you only live once. Uh, electric die cutter is what you were. Yes, yeah, that would probably be easier. Uh, love it surrounding flowers closer. You think so? Yes, Roberta, this is napkin, napkin decoupage. And I'm just going to get in here a little bit. I mean, I really could go over it, but. I kind of want to let the flowers be, you know, their own design there. And you can fade it in a little, and then you could go around and do the edges, or even, you know, like this. And we did do that last time. We took this luster wax, and we went around the edge here, and you can do that. In fact, I already did kind of get some up there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's just a nice little surprise to see that. It makes it look fancy. And going around the edge is doesn't take that much. Now, someone had commented, and I think that they're probably a leather worker, that my edges are not burnished, and they're not. There is a little tool that you can get to do that to make this fuzzy stuff. Um, the nap, I'm trying to say the right terms, uh, you know, kind of burnish that down into the, so it's hard. And I have one, I just couldn't find it. Uh, oh, I think this is so pretty. All right, look at that. What do you think? 
All right, so this one we should probably even see more because it's got more gold area to work on. Don't you wish that you could be here doing this right now? <laughs> well, if you have luster wax and you have a little bit of leather or anything, really, paper, you could do the same thing. This is cool. I think I want to leave just a little bit around and I'm going to go to my smaller one. Oh, this is, sorry, I'm just silent because this is so fun to do. All right, and I'm trying to not mess it up. Oh, love it. All right, what do you think, guys? Is it a winner? I mean, this is so much fun. I would think about making these and selling them because I would just love to make so many of them. Oh, look at that. Isn't it cool? So this means you need to hit the trail in an updated trailer so we can craft with you. Yeah. Well, I think I'll make it in my other one. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Will this work on pleather? You know what? We have some pleather to try. Okay. Yeah. Definite winner. Okay. So I could go crazy with this and, you know, go around the edges. Let me just do that while my little thing is, is here because I might forget. And I don't want one to be done and the other one not to be done. Okay, and if a little gold goes on the inside, that will not bother me at all. And you can see, I did open a new thing of luster wax, finally. At the, I still have some in the other one, but I, I use it in class. So, anyway, this is looking good. So the next thing I'm going to do is glue this together. Now, I'm not going to do it now because we did it last time and you saw how to do it. So I used the, I think, I can't remember. Did I use that one, guys? I think I used that, but there's also this kind, which works, Eco Weld. So either of those. One is like specifically, well, they're both leather glues. And they really work. Just make sure that you weight down the area, you know, put it together and then put heavy things on top of it. I put dies. <laughs> so I think this, let's put them out. Let's put them together and see which one we like better. I'm going to get this out of the way because actually I'm going to buff that a little because that's a lot of, a lot of, gold there that will get everywhere so I just I still need to find another t-shirt see there's still stuff coming off it looks like not much but it does make it shinier too it's it's good and you can kind of blend it even you know okay don't do it too hard because if any of your edges are kind of up a little bit you know like the edges of the napkin they will catch on there and then peel it off so okay that looks good all right so what i would do if i was going to bind this when i bind it i'm going to take my leather glue and put that down here and then match up my two score lines, which I can see because they have notches. See that? This one only has one. You had no idea I wasn't a card maker. No, Roberta, I am not a card maker. I mean, I've made them and I make them for when I need cards and stuff, but I'm not usually, mostly a card maker. I would say I'm more of a book maker, box maker. So there's that one. And here's this one. So you get kind of a lighter effect and a more intense 
gold. And I think I, what I might do is go ahead and darken that up a little bit and really make that be a, a cool background. This one I still like. I think I will leave it because I like how it's blended. And you know how I said it looks like the dishes? I, I like that idea. So I'm going to leave that one alone. Now, this one we bound with some kind of cheesy uh, Dollar Tree elastic. And we really, I don't know, it's pretty light. But it was yellow and it matched what I had. You can buy a little bit thicker. This is probably a one millimeter, but I would probably use like a 1.5 millimeter and I would uh, dye it with my inks to make it a color that would match. I mean, you're only gonna see it right up there. It's really not a big deal. Yes, I love the gold too. Okay, not my comfort zone. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? All right. Um, well, you know what, Robert, um, Roberta, if I hadn't done it, I probably wouldn't have met you. So you kind of have to do stretch yourself. Have to do that every once in a while. All right, now these are the things that I wanted to tell you about, and I'm, they're gonna be in the Etsy store. Um, I have this little book and actually Susie had gotten this at a thrift store I don't know where I put it but it's a little book and I shrunk down the pages it's like a little dictionary it's so cute and the proportions were perfect yes it does come in rose gold yes uh to make these little pages and so these are going to look like this there will be four pages uh, and what I did was, I don't know if you can see, but I made it so that you can fold these over and kind of reinforce themselves. This is kind of a medium text weight, but you could use just even copy paper and it's going to be digital over in my Etsy store. So what you do is you buy it and I think I have four pages of these little definitions and then um, you... And then there's another page too. These are some other random little pieces that I thought, oh, I'll put those on too, because you could use them in the book, you know, for ephemera. That one I just thought was so pretty. This is my uncle's um, report card cover because he didn't get a very good report. So I didn't want to, God rest his soul, he's not with us, but <laughs> I didn't want to embarrass Uncle Rocky. But anyway, it's <laughs> a couple little extra things. So I'm going to have this listed. It's not in there yet, but I will get this up uh, in the next couple days because I think it's a really fun thing. So I'll show you how I did this. And there are a couple ways that you can even use these. And then I think what we'll do is we'll try a piece of that faux leather while we're at it. And so, like I said, this is this piece here. So I folded it over so that I have front and back. And then I glued it with a glue stick and then just folded it. So I have four little signatures. Actually, I think I have five because I, no, I have four. Well, there's another one somewhere. Anyway, what you can do is you can bind this like a text block. And if you do want to do that, we'll do a, a, a little class on how to put those together. Uh, and then you could you could still use your traveler's notebook little binding here and slip it under. Or, you know, there's a couple ways you could bind it. Um, and let's just talk about that. There are a couple ways if you want to fill these with books, you can do it several ways okay you can use these little mini composition books they fit perfectly in here now this is only a that's a two and that just fits these three and these are ones that i got at walmart a while ago i think they still have them though and you probably could get them online i mean they're 88 cents you have a couple of your dad's report cards i have them too yes he was my dad was bad too Oh, was he bad? <laughs> hey, Amy Powers. Um, so, yes, it would be cool to print and watercolor on the pages, Leslie. Yeah, I mean, you could print them. Now, I printed on this darker color, so that's why they're even that dark. 
they would be lighter if you did it on white. So, but I like the texture of this stuff. It's kind of porous or I, I don't know how to describe it. It's got those little flecks in it and it's kind of heavy. So I like the feel of it. So yeah, you could bind two of them. Oh, I do have five. Yeah. All right. So you could do two of these in each signature. And we, when we get our little book done, you know, it'll be skinnier and that should fit in that one that we just did. We didn't put it together yet though. This one. So I think that would be really cute. That looks vintage, doesn't it? Don't you think that would be cute in there? And you still could probably fit like a little pocket or something over here. And look at that. You also have, I don't know if you can see that, but the texture went through. Now I just want to make sure that this doesn't relax. Really, I don't have to worry about that because I already did my impression with this gold. So even if it does relax, you're still going to see the pattern here with the gold wax. And that's what I like about it. Um, and you could do this because really, when you do the embossing folder on any le leather, it will keep the pattern at least for like an hour or something. And so if you do that on there and get that impression, um, you know, done with the, the wax, then it will stay even if the pattern of it relaxes. So anyway. Okay, so that is one way you can buy the books. The other way that you can do it is you can make them like I'm doing here, or you could take a bigger book, which would be something like this. These are actually cards, but you could take this and cut this down and add notebook paper in there. You know, there's just so many ways that you can add your books. The other thing is you can also just do the regular paper and cover it with scrapbook paper, and that will strengthen up those little kind of flimsy pages. Um, this is what I had in there, and that was one of those little notebooks that they have to have the sewn spine. If you tear them out, they're not going to work, but if they have this sewn signature, then you can separate them and do separate books if you don't want those big, thick ones. So they just feel like more. And then if you add a cover, that's even better. You know, it, it adds more bulk and um, it makes it stronger. So you just don't want like wimpy little things in here because it's going to get open and closed and all that. So, uh, so what else? We were going to, let me just make sure. Oh, someone had mentioned the other day and I knew that I had it. These um, Tim Holtz belt buckles. So what would the title of your digital book? It's not in there yet, Brenda, but I think it's going to say Card Case Pages. That was how I named it. Um, but it's it's not listed quite yet. I still have to do watermarks and all these goofy things for, for Etsy. So the way that these work is you would get like a strap, which would be, well, pretend this is uh, leather. I don't think I have one. Oh, that's just almost the right size. Let's see if I have a skinnier one. Uh, well, I could cut it. So let's just say this is the leather. So you would just try and make it too big again. Yeah, you would just add this, you know, whoop, I just put my thread all the way under my, uh oh, there it is, sorry, <laughs> I have my tie-dye on today. Um, you know, you would just adhere that in there. If it's leather, it's not going to get messed up. And then when you bring it around here, you know, you just punch a hole to where you want it to sit. And the nice thing is on a, le a journal, you know, you, you may want to adjust the depth. So just add a couple different holes. So then you can accommodate different size books. So say, say we did one long question. Let's just do this. So then you would have your belt here. You would wrap it around. I kind of like how that looks, you know, kind of official. 
oops, we're not gonna have enough room, but you can see what I mean. So you would just bring that through here. All right, we'll have to do this. I need to find a piece of leather that works for that. But if you wanted to use these, I think they would work great and they're kind of cool. Use the Digi Pages as signature wraps. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, there is some uh, coffee dyed paper in there also, so you could use that there. Yeah, that would be pretty. They're metallic watercolors or even watercolor paint. That would be pretty. Do you think the humidity? No, you know what, Leslie? I don't think that's it. I think it is the leather itself. I just feel like, I don't know. Yeah, and if you get them, you know, I haven't seen them in a while, but hopefully they're still around. It comes in the gold, like brass, and like I think a shiny silver. I can't remember what the other one was. And they each come with a nice fat brad, brad that fits in there. So uh, anyway, I think that would be pretty around here you know, with the white, and maybe you emboss it and do gold on top of that, or not, you know, or you could cover it with the napkin so it kind of blends in. Really, really lots of possibilities. Okay, so we will go over this when I get them listed, and maybe I'll do that on Thursday, and you can see what I mean, but you don't have to just use these. These are nice because they fit in that size, but you could use any digital papers that you have. You could just do like even a grid paper or, you know, anything. But we'll put together a couple signatures and we'll put them in. Okay, so let's take Angie's desk cover and make a little, see what happens if we go to cut this. All right, we still have a couple minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's use the nice trimmers that Lisa gave me and it doesn't matter because these are not real leather I don't think so let's just do six and let's just do a line because I cannot do a straight line and it doesn't have to be exactly six because we're gonna use the die to cut it anyway. Oh, this is pretty thick. I think this could be a good little book. I think it also could be a nice desk cover. And actually I, there were two, so I got the green one. So I could use the green one on my desk. I mean, when you see something like this, you don't, you don't pass it by, you just need to get it. All right, so let's give this a try. Card case. Where is my die? Here we go. Lucky I have it right up here. Okay. And we could do the whole, well, if we do the short ones, then we can do two and make a whole book. Not like I don't have enough. What's inside there? I can't even see. All right, let's just do a little short one for the heck of it. I'm going to use this. And I want to see it if, if it embosses. I know that it's going to make a nice little book. You got something like that at Pop Shelf for your craft table. All right. We still don't have that down here. Now that did cut nice. Oh, shoot. Why did I have to pick that one? Uh, I should have looked on the back. Oh, well, you know, that is their logo. <laughs> All right, maybe I could fit, I uh, might be able to get another one out of it. Let's see. Maybe I can get three and then I can use that for some other thing. Yeah, I think I will have enough room. Yeah, that is a pretty green color. You checked Amazon. Tim Holtz belt buckles are available. Good. All right. Well, we'll do that on the next uh, show, too. Okay. Yes, we have enough to get three. All right. Good. Because I, I don't, I mean, it's a nice company, I think, but I don't really want to advertise them on a book. Line. All right. So I probably could go that way. Am I doing the right side? Now, see, I really kind of wanted this pink side. Hmm. I don't know. 
if it matters. Well, I think we could bend it that way. All right, let's uh, do it the same way we did the others and just see what happens. But I think that we could go either way because I don't see a score line on the outside. What did you find at Pop Shelf? You got some of this um, this vinyl stuff? Nice upscale dollar type store. I wish they had them. Roberta, where do you live? Are you, because I don't have them. I think Leslie has said in the past that she gets them. She has them. Did you say that, Leslie? All right, I'm just going to trim this off. Now that is helpful that I can see these lines here. It's on the leather I couldn't see because it had that nap on it. Oops. You better pay attention. Actually, my blade would work better. <laughs> Any excuse to leave. But see that? That's coming off there. So let's get our brand new blade with the great uh, sharp edge on it. And let's just use our... I think I just need this little piece here. Yeah. All right, very good. Let's do this one. Oh, I think I did it the wrong way anyway. Well, it's an experiment. We do really just want to see if it's going to emboss. So, Or we could do one cover one way and one the other way. You have them in Houston? Oops. Hmm. That's weird. Oh yeah, okay. I can see this. Oh. I'm not going to cut myself, guys. <laughs> I closed it. I know you're happy. Okay. I think these were the original two that we did. I do kind of like that. But see, you know what? We could do either way. So that one did score a little bit. Spinning the blade. It's like, like um, spin the bottle. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we could really do it either way. You know, that is kind of nice because you don't see... That blade, that, <laughs> that blade, I was looking at the chat. You found it in the computer area. They called it a long desk mat. Okay. Two-tone could work. All right, let's see, because this is, so maybe I would do, where's the one that has, yeah, I could do this front. Oh, you know what? I don't care. That looks fine to me. One has the score line and one doesn't, but I don't care. That's pretty. I like that color better, and I can put something over that. Okay, so let's emboss. So what pattern? I already have that crochet mandala out, so I think I'll do that again. It's right here and ready to go. I don't know what's going to happen, honestly. Now, we have a wider spine. I think what I'll do is just emboss everything except the spine. All right, let's see if that's even. You can tell from the back. And you got luster wax on it. It's everywhere. All right, I might go over this a couple times, if I can. Now, see, I can't... Oh. Well, yeah, this is a, I, cause I had to put it in, you know, straight on. All right. I'm going to bring it back just to see. I did buy several pair of cut of these scissors, only $3 each. Yeah. I'm not worried about it, Robert. Oh, well, actually that is pretty nice. I could have 50 little notebooks here. <laughs> That's pretty, but now we're going to have to wait and see if that relaxes. But 
while it's like this, I think we should maybe do some luster wax. Maybe the rose gold. What do you think? Let me do the other one and then we'll we'll luster lusterize it. That is interesting because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I have done faux leather before and it didn't work. But this could, you know, roll out again. So we'll see. All right. Yep. It's pretty. All right. I am going to get my rose gold luster wax and I'm going to be right back. All right. I think I can use that again. Oh, that is so pretty. Actually, I kind of wish that I, you know what? I was wishing that I had done it on this side and then I would have this pretty color to, that I could see. But that's all right. I'm going to go with the plan. Show the inside of the embossing. It still looks good. I mean, that looks pretty darn good. Yeah. Yeah, the luster wax is really nice. Uh oh, there goes my mouse. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use the same sponge that I used with the gold. Don't, don't tell anybody. All right, let's see what happens here. Because even if it does relax, we're still in good shape. Oh my word. All right, I need a buffer here because I don't think I want to do my spine. I'm just going to kind of mask that off a little bit. I'm going to give this a pretty good hit. And I think I'm going to load it up and do it again. That is beautiful. Oh, man. All right, let's see. Since synthetic, it, it may hold the embossing. I don't know. See, in the past it has not, but... And some of the leather, even. So it's like... Well, whatever. I mean, I, I like it that it is. I don't want to get it on my hands. Sometimes when you do this, it does go down into the design a little, but that's okay. All right, so here's the two. What do you think? Nice break from doing your budget work. Oh, that's good. I don't know. I like them both, but I think more is more. <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean, what a cute little look. The only thing is you can't really see the pink, you know, that light pink, but you'll see it on the spine. Uh -oh. oh, one of these is not going to matter because one is going underneath. So whichever one I didn't do better will go underneath. All right, it peeks through in spots. Yeah, you can see it, just not as much. That's all right, though. This is cool. I mean, this looks like an expensive journal. Not a three ninety nine dollars from whatever it was. 
I forget where we got them. I think over at the closet. Look at that. See, there's no lines. That's kind of nice. We could do that for the, and then there's none of those score lines either. Although sometimes I use them to kind of decide where I'm going to do my signatures and stuff. But I think that's pretty cool, guys. What do you say? What a fun little notebook. You could do it on the inside too, but all right. I don't know. I might do it on the inside. Why not? I think go for it. I don't love that color. All right. And then, then I'm going to go because you guys, you're very patient. <laughs> Yeah, it's not as well because it's darker, I think. It's still pretty, though. It doesn't seem like it's sticking as much on the inside. I'm having to really coat that up pretty well. But, you know, this is more of the deboss, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. You can't really tell as much. It is definitely darker, though. Let's see what happens. Maybe it's all going to come off. It's fun to experiment, that's for sure. Oh, it's pretty. And then it would be nice to go around the edge, too, just to complete it, don't you think? Um, yeah. Well, I still like it. I like that. I'm glad I did the lighter one. That's all right. I think that's really pretty. Could be a rebel and do one color of the leather in the front and the other. <laughs> I was thinking about that. But it has that uh, logo on it. And I, I don't know. Anyway, guys. All right. Well, that was a fun experiment today. I'm glad we did that. And... Uh, Again, thanks for coming to Craft Roulette. If you want to join the Eileen Hall Fan Club, that's where we have lots of stuff going on. We're at 7,700 members or some crazy number. And we love when you guys share what you're making. So if you go ahead and do something like this, put this in the group so we can see it because we're nosy and we want to know. And, and, you know, what works, what doesn't work. It's like the big art collective. We can all help each other. So... Um, go ahead and join the fan club. Thank you, Glum. Boy. And also, we have another live on Thursday at 4 o'clock Eastern. So come on back, and we will go through this fun little digital and go from how we print it out to um, how to put it in a book. And that will be a good, good little walkthrough, I think. And what else? We have a blog post coming out. Oh, check out some of this stuff that the team is doing. We're doing tips and tricks for die cutting all month. So go ahead and check those out. Okay. Oh, hey, Lenine. Okay. That's your favorite so far, Michelle? Okay. Very good. Well, we're going to explore this leather until we're done, which I don't know if that will ever be. But uh, anyway, thanks for coming along with me on our journey. Let me just make sure I got everything on my list. Yes, I think I did. That's shocking. All right. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you again on Thursday. Okay? Bye.